Hello, thank you for watching The Farm and Dharma. My name is Justin. Let's run through a pronunciation and alphabet guide of Vietnamese, focusing on the Hanoi or Northern accent. Alphabet. Bang chữ cái. Let's start with the names of the letters. A, A, Ơ, B, C, Z. In a southern accent, D is typically pronounced as Y. D, E, E, J. This speaker reads G as J. However, it may also be called G or R. The sound of G when used in words in northern Vietnamese is RA. It is not pronounced as G or J, even if the speakers call the letter something other than R. Additionally, G may be pronounced as R in southern Vietnamese accents. In southern Vietnamese, the letter I makes the sound less like E and more like a. K, N, L, M, N, A, O, O, B, Q. Q may also be called Gu and be pronounced as Ga in Northern Vietnamese. R. This speaker says the name of the letter R with a R sound. However, in Northern Vietnamese, it is pronounced as Z in words. While the letter R is pronounced as Za in Northern Vietnam and Ra in southern Vietnam, central Vietnam has an intermediate sound of Ja. S, S may also be pronounced as Sha. In rare formal instances, like reciting the alphabet, S can be pronounced as Sha. In southern Vietnamese, U is pronounced less like U and more like O. In southern Vietnam, U with a horn is pronounced more like U and less like for those savvy with IPA, I've attached an IPA vowel chart. You can see the beginning sound in the southern accent is an unrounded U. In southern Vietnamese accents, the letter Y is usually pronounced as Y. Vietnamese only uses the letters F, J, W, and Z in loanwords and foreign names. Let's take a closer look at the sounds of the consonants. Phu âm. As we look at these, we will break them down into their initial and final sounds, if applicable. Bo, go. Final sound, ak, or ok. C cannot be the consonant before I, Y, E, or E circumflex in written Vietnamese. Therefore, the same sound must be written as K in these cases. At the end of a syllable, C is pronounced as ok if it follows U, O circumflex, or O, and as ak in any other case. So. CH may be pronounced as ja in southern accents. Northern final sound, I, central and southern final sound, I. If CH is pronounced as a ja sound, it may be slightly affricated by some speakers as ja. Zo. Central and southern pronunciation, ye. The letter D used to be pronounced as ve in Middle Vietnamese. Now it represents the same sound as GI. Spelling between GI and D was chosen based on etymology. Da, ga. G must be spelled as GH if it comes before I, E, or E circumflex. Da. In Central and Southern Vietnamese, GI is pronounced as Ya. GI used to be pronounced as Ya in Middle Vietnamese, similar to some Spanish double L sounds. Ha, ka. As stated before, the letter K is used instead of C before the letters I, Y, E, and E circumflex. Kha. Also pronounced as Ka in Central and Southern dialects. This sound was pronounced as Ka in Middle Vietnamese. Lo. Ma. As a final, Am. No. As a final, In. Ong. Or Ang. In Southern and Central Vietnamese, if in is following I or E, it is pronounced as in. It is pronounced as ong if it is following O circumflex, O, or U. It is pronounced as ang if it follows any other vowel. In Northern Vietnamese, it is always pronounced as an as a final, regardless of the vowel sound. No. Ong, ang. Final NG is pronounced as ong if it follows U, O circumflex, or O. It is pronounced as Ang if it follows any other vowel. Additionally, if ng comes before i, e, or e circumflex, it must be spelled as ngh. Nya. 
As the final one, Northern Vietnamese, in H is pronounced as ANG. Central, ANG. Southern, AN. Ap. The letter P only occurs initially by itself when in loan words. Pho. This sound used to be pronounced as PA in Middle Vietnamese. Gua. Southern, WA. CU must be written as QU if it comes before an approximate sound, in this case, a W sound. Zha. Central, Zha. Ra. In Southern Vietnamese, the sound of the letter R has a lot of variation. It can be pronounced as Zha, Ra, Ra, or Ra. Sa. Sha. As stated before, the letter S may be spoken as Sha, especially in rare formal situations or when reciting the alphabet. Ta. Southern Vietnamese. If T comes after I or E, then it is pronounced as E. If it comes after U, then it is pronounced as U. Sometimes U and sometimes O. If it is after O circumflex or O, it is pronounced as A. If it comes after any other vowel. In Northern Vietnamese, final T is always pronounced as A. Ta. Cha. Central and Southern. Ta. In Northern Vietnamese, TR is spoken as CHA, if it is recited in the alphabet. V. V may be pronounced as YA in Southern Vietnamese. In Middle Vietnamese, V used to be written as a B with a tail, in an upper and lowercase form, and pronounced as V. SA. X used to be pronounced as SHA in Middle Vietnamese. Let's take a closer look at the vowels of Vietnamese. NGUYEN AM. The letter A. The letter A with a breve. A. A circumflex. O. The letter E. E. E circumflex. E. I or Y. E. The letter O. O. O with a horn. O. O circumflex. O. The letter U. U. U with a horn. U with a horn in the southern accent. Ooh. Next up is some letter combinations. Gap chữ. Pho. Cho. Cho. Gua. Ji. Tho. Kho. Ngo. Ngo. Nyo. Go. Anh. Anh. Am. An. Om, om. Diphthongs and triphthongs. Nguyên âm ghép. Ai, 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 ao, ao, o, eo, eo, ye, ye, yo, yu, wa, wai, wa, we, oi, oi. Ơi, ua, 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 ui, uai, ua, ue, ua, ui, uen, ui, ui, yu. Tones. Thanh điệu. Northern Vietnamese language has six distinct tones. The first two columns show the names of the tones in Vietnamese and English. The third column shows an example consonant that is only distinguished by tone. Notice that the meaning and the resulting word of the spoken consonant changes depending on the tone. Ngang. The flat tone. Ba. Meaning three. Huyen. The deep tone. This tone is described as usually having a breathy voice. Ba. Meaning lady. Hoi. The asking tone. Ba. Meaning poison. Ngã. The tumbling tone. Ba. Meaning residue. Shak. The sharp tone. Ba. Meaning governor. Na. The heavy tone. This tone is usually glottalized. Ba. Meaning at random. According to FAM 2003, the tones of the Vietnamese language are not only distinguished by pitch. They may also differ in the voice contour used, length, and other ways. FAM's work, Vietnamese Tone, a new analysis, goes into the detail about the specific features of Vietnamese tones, varying ways of classifying the tones, and research done on the topic of Vietnamese language. 
She also states a popular idea in her conclusion, saying that if we are to equate tone to pitch, then perhaps Vietnamese is not a tonal language as it distinguishes syllables in ways beyond just pitch. This brings to question the idea that Vietnamese is a tonal language in the same way that other tonal languages rely on only pitch to distinguish similarly pronounced words. The Vietnamese tones are a complex topic by themselves, and much variation exists between the speakers of this language and how they produce the tones. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.